Okay, so hi there everyone and this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com So today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading for the month of February 2022 basically So you all have a choice to pick in uh, Pile 1, Pile 2, and Pile 3 Now I did made this into a section So this um, uh, set of cards is going to be representation of what you might be expecting on your valentine's day so it's like a valentine's reading a valentine's um event probably like what do you need to know on the day of valentine's or the energy of february as a whole what do you need to know and what might happen as a whole and uh the ones here at the bottom is like an additional message on what's going to be happening for you on the month of February 2022 so it's like a, a very detailed kind of a reading a pick a card reading just so that we can get a lot of information and advice and um, have some form of expectation on, on what might be coming up for each and every one of us please do know that of course that this is a general reading so you know uh, just take in um where your intuition is guiding you so um yeah again spend some time to really you know uh, meditate first and maybe ask a question in your mind or in your head as you take a look on the video and see what pile um you are resonating with whether it's pile one pile two or pile three so are you ready <laughs> so um we'll start off with pile one so let me first um set the these aside uh, where should i put this over here okay so we'll start um uh, with pile one um, we'll open this later Okay, so let's first start with pile number one. So we have here the Knight of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Seven of Pentacles. Also have the Give Your Relationship a Chance card. The New Love. and healing family issues then we also have changes card teaching and anger so i would say that this is a very passionate um set of reading let me just put this aside and we have here uh some cardamom c and i'll just put it over here at the side um so oh yeah so this is the reading for pile number one so if this is what you've picked this might be the message and energy for your february and your valentine's day reading uh basically so you are this is more of a situation where in a lot of your emotions is going like uh, in haywire a lot of passion a lot of thoughts are coming into play it makes you feel as if you wanted to fix something but it seems as if you are in a rush but life is actually telling you to to sit down and wait you know um, i know that you are probably wanting to to maybe find love or you wanted to be in a relationship you wanted to date you wanted to have someone in your life but uh, there could be a situation here wherein you might be waiting on something, but the timing is just not um, in your in your favor right now. There could be a sense of frustration as well. Maybe you have been wanting to fix a relationship, wanting to fix something uh, between you and a certain person, but um, there has been no result whatsoever and we are now being called upon here that is telling you there could be some form of healing that might need to happen as well you know you might need to 
take a look on the very core about uh, of this relationship and if you're not in a, in a relationship there could be some form of blockages or healing that needs to be done so that the pathway of love can open up for you maybe you have a uh, um some form of limiting belief system in your head that is preventing you to actually find love you know uh th this could also be a situation wherein you are just waiting and not really doing anything for your situation so you really cannot find any form of result with that there could also be a situation here wherein there are various lessons that you might need to know maybe understand or overcome as well and there could be an anger management issue coming forth here that needs to be removed or neutralized i would say or heal in some form of manner so there is a situation here wherein maybe you don't know what is really going on in your situation and you might need to like confront that person or talk to that person it makes me feel that that this is more of a situation wherein you are like you have a situation going on in terms of your love life that you have chosen to not do anything and at the same time you are also questioning yourself why are things not moving forward why are things staying the same and you know the answer is pretty much obvious but at the same time you're not really able to see that you know uh, all you can see is the frustration the blockages the obstacles but you yourself is not really doing anything to to work your situation you know there are things that you need to understand there are things that you need to accept and you need to confront and you know you basically need to make certain changes into your life and not be so afraid of changes as a whole maybe you need to, to confront someone maybe you need to leave someone or maybe you need to move on from another path or maybe you just need to to forgive someone one way or another and you know you will not be able to really move forward without really taking action in a certain sense this could also be a manifestation wherein um you and a certain person is also in a waiting game like you are waiting for something and that person is waiting for something and there's really no happening whatsoever so this could be um a situation wherein there could be some form of disappointment on your end like maybe you are wanting to fix something but it might not really happen in the way that you probably desire things to turn out so um let us see what's going on with you and how your whole month of february you know the energy of feb is going to turn out now you notice that we have here the two of wands this is really more about decision making or having our thoughts about a certain situation about having two things maybe a decision for two things and then we also have here the eight of swords like being binded being stuck and not seeing things as they should like you know um and maybe th these are you know self-limiting beliefs or you think that you don't have the power or the energy or the capacity to do anything in your life but you actually have you just don't want to <laughs> and sometimes it's not because the change is not moving forward it's because we refuse to take action and that's really causing the problem and the issues and we have here the death card which is a signal for you know probably a no event kind of thing maybe there are other things that you need to need to come into play um this could also be a message that you needed to end something or uh the death card is not always a very negative card uh, it really depends but um this could also be you know a rebirth uh, a transformation of something you know you need to change something in your life you cannot choose to just you know stand by and do nothing you cannot choose to just uh, let yourself be blinded forever uh some form of transformation needs to change and 
each and every one of us has our own limitation, you know. Until when are you going to allow things to happen and not have your power back? All these kinds of things. We have here the sun. We have here the five pentacles. And we also have here the Ace of Cups. Now, I don't know why, but there's also another card here. And this is the Ten of Swords. Now, um, this is a really uh, energy wherein you will probably need to deal with your own shadows or a shadow part of a relationship, you know. Either you are going to be choosing to heal that negative area of your life, negative area about a relationship, or um, um, you will probably choose to forgive the situation and see the positive side on things, you know. Um, having that decision to really end, um, you know, it's that energy of letting begones be begones kind of thing um but um yeah there is there is really a strong energy here that may be for you to bring in that new love or bring in that energy of a love into your life you might need to end something and it's not always pertaining to a relationship or a person into your life but it could be a habit that you do that you keep or an energy that you you attach yourself to some form of belief system in your head you know and sometimes this could be some form of resentment as well that you you keep on holding on and it's not serving you anymore so um and this is really more of you know making a decision about your love life or relationship you know and no matter if you are single or in a relationship this is really asking you to make a decision on what will make you happy or um, it's like questioning yourself if are you really okay with this the situation that you're in right now is that really what you want and do you really want to have that feeling or have that energy surrounding you um, as you go on with your life you know especially if you have been experiencing something for the past few years the past few months uh it's like you know until when your limitation is going to take this in you know there's always a limit into everything you know <laughs> uh, we are only human and we will eventually you know blow up one way or so and there will be coming a time where and you will just end up telling yourself that enough is enough and i need to start over i need to do this i need to do that i need to break free i need to love again i need to be with uh, this person or so i need to to express my own right my own feelings i need to communicate i need to tell this person that you know I'm willing to do, I'm willing to take the risk. Another thing that I really like about this um, spread is really more of this five of pentacles because it's really much telling us of the bondage that we have put ourselves into, you know. Especially if you are staying in a relationship where and things are really dead, but probably you are refusing to see that. Uh, that could be an energy we're in, you know. It's like you are willing to stay by a relationship no matter the struggle, you know, no matter how difficult the situation may be. And that can be happening happening in a very positive way or in a negative way, I would say. So it really depends on what your situation is calling for. And your intuition is probably going to know more than I do uh, regarding your situation. But definitely... It's either you drop that relationship or maybe a situation is calling for to drop something in there or there could be a habit or belief or a situation that you need to let go of something. And again, it could be your own feelings or it could be a decision that you have been holding off on but you actually needed to do and get things going. 
so um yeah but definitely an ending and a beginning at the same time is something that really is coming into play and it could be a game changer uh, for a lot of you guys i would say as well but um yeah um an element of frustration can be felt but um you probably need to do something um for you to achieve some form of balance and stability in your life to free yourself from all these um craziness um so oh uh, yeah that's for the pile number one for you guys so uh let us see um what messages is in store for pile number two okay so i'm using here the um i kind of forgot what deck is this i think it's the sexual tarot deck i would say so we have here the star card <laughs> this is the star card and we have here the three of swords and then we have here the ten of cups so with just these three cards we already know that you know this is quite of an emotional one we have here the card of very soon passion again like i said it's going to be an emotional one and to free yourself have here the card of the new day integration and self-love oh yeah uh before i forget uh this is from my um i think shamanic healing deck basically so i like this set of cards but it's just so hard to see the text basically so yeah that's why i really i rarely use it so we have here the three of hearts four of hearts and the queen of diamonds okay oh yeah we'll open this up later so this is um for pile number two now we have here a very very emotional month for you guys so there could be an element here we're in there could be an explosive energy of emotions that is being felt by you so you might be um having this inclination to to express your own emotions and feelings to someone but also this could be a desire that you are feeling or a frustration of some kind uh wanting to achieve something into a situation but there could be some form of you know disappointment i would say but at the same time it's not really more of a disappointment but it's more of a situation wherein you finally tell someone what you really feel or you are finally able to break free from whatever emotional blockage that you have inside of you and in turn this actually leads you to achieving some form of emotional stability into your life uh, there could be a situation here where in maybe some of you guys are doing some form of manifestation work and manifesting the person that you desire and stuff like that and uh and really investing your all in that this is really more of a situation wherein you put your heart and soul into something and it becomes an outlet and you free yourself from any form of blockages that you might have so and it opens up uh some form of <coughs> some form of possibility um for what is to come for you in the future uh there could be a sense here that you know uh some form of happy event can really happen or some form of situation or in some form of surprise can actually you know turn up into your life especially for your valentines and you know there could be a healthy balance between um loving yourself and loving someone else and for some people there could be a situation here we're in some form of um 
three person kind of relationship could really turn out there could be some form of truth revealing that might um come into play and really more of a development of a situation and developing your emotional life and stuff like that um for some people this could be an element we're in wanting to fall in love wanting to love someone or wanting or waiting for a specific person i just really feel that there is a really a specific person that comes into play here whether it is someone that you wanted to be with or is it in your head or is it really you know maybe the person that you are with is not with you right now and you're really wanting to be with that person and stuff like that uh wanting to bond with them and for some of you guys you will achieve that bond and for some of you guys it's really more about wanting to to manifest this and in, into the reality into the real world but um yeah you will definitely you know the number th we do have a lot of number three here and the number three is all about growth and all about development of some form of way so some form of emotional growth can really come or emotional maturity or uh, finally you know th this i really find this really more of a situation where in maybe you try to hide what you feel and you know uh, everything is like a, a cup basically you keep adding water you keep hiding that water until it gets filled up and just like water our emotions get filled up to a point where in you try to hide what you feel over and over again uh, but it comes to a point where it's gonna explode and you will want to express it and you know maybe you try to deny yourself on uh about love or you try to um you try to basically make it seem as if you do not like someone or you make it seem as if you can resist them you make it seem as if you don't care about someone despite the fact that you actually do you actually love them you actually want them you are very attracted to them but you don't want them to actually see and notice that so you're now really coming to a point where in uh, maybe the emotions that you are feeling or sent or building up is going to leak out of you and you will need to let all of this emotion go and maybe express this or express it by taking action or express it by telling someone that you love them or um, maybe confessing your own feelings so that um you take control of your life and you know finally not resist but give in to the situation so there could be energy of things like that and uh, this is really more about combining you know trying to unite or have a union with someone despite maybe the um, various circumstances that you might have or difficulties that you might have uh, and if it's not yet happening we have here the very soon card means that it could really turn up you know maybe it it happens in a very surprising way like you're not expecting this person to come into your life and tell you this and that but they actually eventually do and they you know um, it could be a new beginning in terms of your love life or your situation with that person in place so uh yeah that's what we're seeing here for pile number two and let's see what your february is going to turn out to be we have here the chariot the ace of pentacles and the five of pentacles now this is really more of a situation wherein things are slowly moving forward and then it comes to a halt it comes to a stop or something like that you know so uh, this is also more of a situation we're in it it has that you know very hopeless kind of feeling you know i really really want this but i really don't know more i, I don't know how to get things going and stuff like that this could be a situation wherein you seek god for help you seek some form of prayers 
um, to put your manifestation in place. So there is an element of surprise here wherein you you have no idea on what is to really going to happen in your life. So you might be filled with much worries and much fears in place. We have here the Emperor card. We have here the Ace of Pentacles and we have here the Hermit card. So as you guys can see, there is an element here of re of new beginning, but at the same time, you know, we have here the Ace of Pentacles, the 5 of Pentacles and the the Hermit card creating an element we're in. It feels as if that, you know, something is being offered to you, but he, maybe you don't know what that is and it could be something that real will illuminate to you um as the days go by you know maybe within the month of feb february you know you might find out the answers that you're seeking it could also be a situation where in some someone is going to move forward in your life but they are really much silent you know it's not there is someone that you really do not expect knocking your door basically and there could also be a situation wherein someone is wanting to be with you but maybe they don't really take action on what they want to it's like you know it's like maybe they're sending you psychic form of loving energy and we have here the the emperor card and i really find this one of the most frustrating cards in tarot because the emperor card really cares for you it cares for you quite a lot it's just that they cannot make up their mind you know am i gonna really push forward and be with that person am i really going to confess am i really going to you know um push forward with what i feel or or whatever you know it's like you just don't know what they want to do they care for you it's just that they cannot make up their mind on what they should do to make you feel loved or to express their own feelings or i don't know maybe they're overthinking quite a few things into into their life that even though they wanted to start a new venture with you, they are unable to. So that element could be frustrating in its own way because it feels as if the manifestation is happening in a very emotional level. So, it, so it's not really manifesting in a very physical sense. So that could be frustrating for you. But um, the saving grace here is that they are thinking about you. They are wanting to be with you and stuff like that. They are wanting to form that connection. But there's also a possibility here wherein you might want to be more open about this yourself and um, observe the situation. If you guys would notice, it's like this, um, the lady we have here in the photo is looking down and then, you know, the hermit is really more of a, like, the person that is um also looking down you know they can only see uh technically this is uh the it is a card about darkness that's why he is holding a lamp you know he can only see what is right in front of him or her or whatever um they're not really able to see the far head a future and stuff like that because um they are in a barren uh not really a barren land in in a, in a place of snow and darkness you know not really able to see everything clearly that is far but you need to understand that maybe someone is going to come into your life and they are going to be there very soon and maybe some form of patience or self-love or sending loving energy with that person can really help manifest this into a reality so um yeah this can also be a situation wherein maybe you are wanting to go back to someone whenever i see like a card looking back to the past makes me feel that you are wanting to go back to something maybe because you have your own regrets or maybe someone um is wanting to go back to you but they probably don't know 
how to, to get this done but this is the energy that they want to bring into your life and stuff like that but definitely a form of new beginning and new energy is coming into play into your life and you do need to you know um not be so harsh on yourself i would say but trust yourself and you know work your manifestation as i believe that that might be uh something that you would um you would need this could be a signaling a spell of a return of a lover into your life so uh, you know that could be some of the manifestation for that uh energy as well uh, uh there could be a new beginning but a return of something as well so um yeah that's for our pile number two okay so let me put everything aside and then take our pile number three okay so this is for our pile number three this is the witch tarot deck one of my favorite decks you have here the sun the knight of cups and the ten of cups so this is actually one of the very positive reading that we have so this is really more of a very very happy kind of a situation it could be you know maybe you go you are going to receive something from a lover you're probably going off on a date or something really happy and emotionally fulfilling can really um be a forefront uh, of your love life for um, this Valentine's, you have here the card of attraction, the card of reconciliation, and romantic feelings. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of, you know, expressing your love, expressing your feelings, giving gifts as well. And yeah, we have here the card of reconciliation. So there could be, you know, maybe someone from the past might want to pursue you or maybe give you some form of, uh, attraction or uh, i don't know you know they might be um greeting you in some form of way and uh, some form of emotional healing can really come with this you know whenever i see a reconciliation uh there there, there is a bonding factor between you and a certain person and this is really an energy we're in you are in love you are falling in love and you're just happily in love that kind of energy so we have here the sacred space the truth and the card of duality and this is really more of a you know what you see is what you get basically and um definitely it's a very very romantic kind of reading i don't know what else i could say on this having the six of uh diamonds the eight of cups uh, sorry the eight of hearts and the um jack of diamonds so this is really more of an energy it that if you are not in contact with the person that you are um thinking about uh, there could be some form of union between you and that person or some form of um uh, if you guys have fought or something not working out into your life or into your relationship there could be a sense of you know getting back together or um, apologizing fixing that relationship some form of mutual um, kind of connection is going on between you and a certain person and there's going to be some form of communication you might also you know find out something that you did not know about what they truly feel for you that kind of thing so this is really a really really wonder you know there's no no other words to to really um express this reading it's very much you know uh self-explanatory if you would ask me though i would say that this is more of a situation where in everything's really just open you know um and I kind of feel that there could be a sense here wherein because of extreme happiness, you might end up crying. You might tear up and stuff like that because 
I really sense a lot of emotions here that emotions that are overflowing and it's not in a negative sense it could be a very happy you know a happy sense kind of a feeling so there is here uh, you know um, I would say that you should focus on the positive side of this energy and really focus on being thankful and have that gratitude with your lover and maybe that is what you need maybe you want to thank your lover or express how much you love them <laughs> that could be a really wonderful thing and that can increase and create more bond between you and a certain per and that person into your life so um yeah so whether you're single or in a relationship this is about you um maybe you know it's either that you are going to experience some form of really really happy union uh, for valentine's or for february there's going to be some form of reconnection or reconciliation kind of thing that's going to come into play maybe you're going to be expressing your feelings or someone's going to express their feelings um with your situation and you know and for some people it could be some form of healing that's being that is happening into your situation as well so um and let us see and we have here the lover's card so how fitting this is the lover's card in this really happy situation have here the magician and the queen of pentacles this is really more of like an overall satisfaction in terms of your love life and situation like really in love with that person or this could also be a situation wherein you really make a decision finally to to be with that person make that connection with with that specific person into your life or uh this could be a situation we're in if this is a new person you, you may you might find someone and really have um fall in love and be head over heels with that person you know and get things going and that's a lot of passion as well you know we have here the ten of wands the the knight of swords <laughs> mentioned earlier that i feel that there's going to be some form of tears and crying and here is the um queen of cups now this is really more of an element we're in there is so much emotions here to the point wherein you might give in to some form of fear or anxiousness as well or um there could be an a sense of overwhelming factor when it comes to love okay when it comes to love and emotions and this is a very very watery kind of energy wherein you know um you could be very very intuitive during this time as well to the point wherein you pick up various energies from other people as well especially if you're going out and stuff like that you might need to you know clear away your own energy um and make sure that you are energetically protected because you might be you you might think that you're you're you are worried or anxious with your situation wherein in fact you're just absorbing the energies or uh the psychic uh, energy that people are throwing at you or unintentionally throwing at you there could also be a sense of like i said earlier a feeling of being overwhelmed you know being so much about um being into that person and not having some time for yourself that kind of thing so or this could be a sense we're in you know you might be so in love with that person and you have a lot of sexy time and <laughs> and you guys might not be sleeping and stuff like that and you cannot stop um touching each other and being with an, with that person in place so that could be an element um that you might need to come across you know there is going to be a need for balance i would say when it comes to emotions and your feelings at the same time and really follow your intuition and don't just act upon your own emotions because i kind of feel that you know emotions are leaking out and that could be the the, the very energy of the month of february and it's not just for you guys but for everyone else as well and but yeah um this is uh we ha you have here the queen of cups so maybe someone's going to be treating you like a queen and maybe you are going to be tearing up <laughs> with that 
I don't know for what reason <laughs> that could be, but maybe、uh, some form of tears might come up and it could be in a very happy sense as well. It could be a situation where in finally something happens or finally. There was a lack of communication before, and then suddenly, some you know, the connection keeps pouring in.、Uh, there could be a sense where, in some form of good surprise, turns up for your situation, and、um, some form of mutual connection with that person、um, really develops, and that can really make you emotional in some form of way, but it also makes you feel as if. All your hard work has paid off, that kind of sense. So, um, yeah, there could be also a situation where, in you know, relationship is really the forefront of your mind for the month of February, and having the the chance to really express your feelings is something that you really wanted to do, and you wanted to, um, you know. This is more of a situation wherein you cannot help but to say something to someone、uh, regarding what you feel, and and、uh, what makes this different is that that person feels the same way, and you guys might bond with your feelings for each other, those kind of things. So.、Um, There is a form of optimism in the air, basically, and you just need to be、um, to practice your patience level. I would say,、uh, because I w- it makes me feel that you know people are going to be doing things that they want、uh, without holding back, and this goes through your relationship.、Uh, this goes through you as an individual. And with your partner at the same time, so you know, even though that we are sensing a lot of happy stuff over here, we have here this done card, which means that everything is so open.、Uh, there is no resistance, no blockages whatsoever. But all at the same times, it can be very overwhelming for some people when everything is just so open, right? So, um, yeah, um. Also, speaking of everything's being so open, maybe someone is going to be telling you the truth and the complete truth without any filters, as well. And, and that could be some form of frustration. But、um, you know, if this is really manifesting in terms of your love life, I kind of feel that there's going to be a kiss and make up that might happen later on. So all is good <laughs> and done with. Um, the lovers card is also, you know, a decision maker when it comes to love life and relationships. So, some form of switch or、um, leveling up can really happen. Or,、um, I really don't think that this is going to turn out negatively. Definitely not, because this is really more on emotional growth and some form of emotional fulfillment happening in terms of your love life for the month of February. But anyway, so yeah, this is it for pile number three, and I hope that this reading gives insight and clarity for each and every one of you,、uh, regardless on what pile you have. So um yeah, uh just do remember that you know all of this is just more of an insight, and um yeah, follow your intuition on where things are going to lead you, but. I hope that you find this reading insightful. If you want to book a reading with me, you can do that by checking in with my website in thestarsbycrazy dot com, and I shall see you on my next video. <laughs> Bye.